and hello everyone. This is Angel Terry here with some more Dragon Age Origins. So in the last video we had entered the city of Denerim and we were just exploring, taking quests. We met sisters, bitchy, si uh, no we met sisters, excuse me, let me try that again. We met Alistair's sister, who was very bitchy. And so I told her off and we dealt with that. And so we were just kind of walking around here. All right, you. I know I talked to you. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. Mm, I have. Ooh. Thank you and farewell. Okay, hold on a minute. He's part of a quest. Let me see. Let's put that on you. What is part of it? I know he's part of a quest before I screw up. You were asked to deliver ten Lyrium potions to Knight Commander Harith on behalf of the Mages Collective. If Mages giving questionable gifts to Templars doesn't seem right, you can go to Knight Commander Tavish and Denerim and testify about the bribe with Delirium potions as evidence. Okay. Okay, so either I give them to Knight Commander Harith in Redcliffe or this guy in Denerim. Hmm. With the way that I'm doing mages, I'll give them to you. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. I have something you might be interested in. I doubt in. that. Hmm. Yes, you're right. This is very interesting. I'll take this note from you, and I'll confiscate this lyrium as evidence. You have done a great thing here, friend. Those rogue mages' days are numbered. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind helping with some things, but let's not bribe people. That's my job. It's my job to... Oops, wrong button. It's my job to bribe people and press wrong buttons. <laughs> <gasps> dwarven crafts. Find dwar dwarven crafts. Everyone remember him? Morzamar. You won't find better. I do. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven. My lady. My lady Idukin. Is that really you? I knew you survived. I never stopped believing it. And neither did your father. Before I left for the surface, King Endrin sent for me. It was almost more than I could endure, seeing him so. Mm. As if he were long dead and rotten, and now merely an empty husk collapsing in on itself. He could not even rise from his bed, and the room stank of decay. He asked me to give you the shield of Idukin, and this letter. Hmm. Wow, did he say anything else? He barely spoke at all. Every word seemed as if it had traveled the entire length of the deep roads. Find my daughter. No other deserves this. Was all that he said. His eyes have haunted me since. If it were possible for a man to die of regret, I think King Endrin did. But... <laughs> We shouldn't dwell on the past. I can hardly tell you how good it is to see you alive. And now you can take your place again as my second. My lady, please, don't ask me to come with you. What? I was injured in my travels here. My leg healed crooked and I will never fight again. Aww. And I have a new life now. I'm married into a surface family. My wife is lovely, and her father is the best smith in Denerim. We're uh, expecting our firstborn before the spring. Wow. Okay. Part of me was hoping to uh, catch up with him, but, you know, I'm glad you got a family there, buddy. Well, when can I meet the lucky girl? I twitch. I would love to introduce you, but you must have more important business than hearing about me. Have a look at my father-in-law's crafts. 
All fine work, and I'll cut you a discount. Oh, wow. Okay, so, um... This is what I was talking about before, because every person, every, uh... Every one of your characters that you create, your main character, that's what I was saying, with their story in the beginning, um has a person special to them or something special that happened to them and later on in the game you will run you know you will run into those people or the item or whatever later on and this is war for my nor uh dwarven noble but i'm actually quite disappointed that i couldn't hook up with uh him again but what are you gonna do you a crossbow crap don't have the strength for that that's annoying Oh, he's got the Berserker manual. But I don't need that. Your crust off his crap. Okay, so the Dwarven Heavy stuff is uh, with the Red Steel is actually higher strength. So... Let me see. Sten, can you wear that? Alright, that's heavy plate. No, that's crap. Alright, we'll get you that. Yep, we'll get you that. Right, you have a better helmet, which is odd. <sighs> Shoot two-handed weapons. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, I don't think there's anything. No, oh, that's not bad. Critical chance, armor penetration. Yeah, but see, I like with the healing effects received for him. Because Alistair, like, I, I, you know, he's more of a defense than the damage. So I don't really see any point. Uh, what about you? Can you use any of these? Nope. Fine. That blows. Oh, right. You've got crap. Oh, right. Okay. Letter from King Andrew. That was. Okay. Perhaps you will burn this letter unread. For that, I would not blame you. But I would not return to the stone without saying this to you. I have seen what ba Balin is, and when I saw it, I knew I had been a fool. For only a fool would cut out his own heart and burn it for the sake of appearances. I never believed in your guilt. I allowed you to be exiled because I feared an inquiry into Trian's murder would taint our house with scandal in the eyes of the Deshiers and cost our family the throne. Wow. But I have saved nothing by the sacrifice. I sent my only child into an uncertain exile. Know that whatever you do now, you bear all the honor and pride of House Idukin. Oh my gosh, I actually got a little choked up there. And what was the item we got? Should have been that shield. Idukin family shield. Oh, not bad. Can you use it? Of course not. Uh... I think I, I just bought you those two, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I took that off of her. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that on you. If that gives you a chance to dodge missile attacks, I ain't arguing. 
like I said, some of those things don't work. I think it's the, uh, oh man, I think it was to lower the, the, uh, hate on you and it was another thing. I can't remember. All right, Alistair. All right, hold on a minute. What? That was wrong button. What, um... Nah, it's mage. What did I want you to wear? My dragon plate is 38. Now that's going to stem. I need you to have this shield. I think. So you need 32 strength. So I gotta dump everything in your strength stat. Alright. Ah, what to do with you now? So we have a shield wall which is sustained. In this moment, the character shield becomes nearly a fortress, adding a significant avoidance to armor and a greater likelihood of shrugging off missile attacks, but at the cost of reduced damage. Shield expertise makes the character immune to direct knockdown. This is shield expertise. Yeah, honey, it's in there somewhere. But I'll get shield wall. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that's Alistair. Oh, right. Write it on the list, baby. Sorry, my husband's asking me about groceries right now. Okay. Wow. All right. You kind of had crap, but that's fine. I recognize you from Ostagar. Sup? And trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden. Duncan's apprentice. Uh-huh. You killed my friend and good King Kalen. I demand satisfaction, sir. Uh... Hmm... So I can either uh, lie to him and say, me, Great Warden, yeah, I mean, like, I'm the, I was the only friggin' dwarf there, so that doesn't make sense. Um, well, let's see how dumb he is. Me, a Great Warden, you must be mistaken. Pardon me, sir. You must think I'm a fool. You really do look like... Uh, too much ale, yes, uh, too much. Excuse me. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, you've been... Mm, must have been drinking a lot of ale. Bleh. Alright, what do we got here? No, okay, so this is the... This is a tavern. Just thank you, timer. Timer for all my other stuff. Politics of Ferelden, huh? Alright, so let's slowly scroll down... Terns and arms and crap. This is where the nobility comes to get drunk and decide who is the most self important of them all. Good times. Good times, bruh. Navara. The fourth time I attempted to cross the border into Navarra from Orlais and was turned back by Chevaliers, I decided to take the more roundabout path. A ship back to Ferelden and then another to Navarra. The outcome was more than worth the trouble. The whole country is filled with artistry, from the statues of heroes that litter the streets and even the meanest villages to the glittering Golden College of Magi in Cumberland. Perhaps nowhere is more astonishing than the vast necropolis outside Navarra City. Unlike most other followers of Andraste, the Navarans do not burn their dead. Instead, they carefully preserve the bodies and seal them in elaborate tombs. Some of the wealthiest Navarans begin construction of their own tombs while quite young, and these become incredible palaces complete with gardens, bathhouses, and ballrooms, utterly silent, kept only for the dead. That's creepy. But you would probably think of the same way as that, like for... Um, uh, pyramids. Okay. 
So I'm not going to talk to this guy. I want to say he's the he's the quest to do another thing of the thieving. Um, let's see. You know what? what Let me I talk to him. Stranger? Yeah, see, you need to help maybe with something not strictly legal. Interested parties. Okay. So. So, like here, correspondence interrupt us. R has a small request. It's always useful to have a big name in your pocket, and there's nothing better than snagging them with their knickers down. If in travels wide someone were to come across notes between illicit lovers, I have certain specialists who can make the most of the texts. Deliver to the bartender, and, in a, and an investment towards future manipulation will be paid. So, the love letters you find, you give them to that. Solving problems. D requires swift action. I have trouble. A few of my more... Excitable young associates got a little nervous during a couple of delicate handovers. Suffice to say, a little mess needs attention. Life is normally cheap, but if word of this gets out, there will be consequences. My men are under close watch, so I would be most grateful for someone willing to take care of this. Coin is assured. All right. Negotiation aids. K requests the following. The troubles of the new blood seem to find me. I've ruffled some feathers with my alternative tactics, and certain people have had me blacklisted by my primary suppliers. So I put this out there to those enterprising friends who want an ally and perhaps a little coin. Fifteen toxic extract samples will be more than enough to ensure I can continue building support. Simple, isn't it? So this is good, like, if you if you want to go down more the route of, like, a rogue slash assassin. But due to the fact that I have two party members with me that are more straight-laced and Sten really doesn't give a crap, I'm not going to do those. Because I don't know how they're... Uh, you know, affection stuff is going to be bothered, and I don't want to deal with it. Hey, doing you? My shift's nearly over. Thank Andraste. Yes, thank Andraste. Do if someone told you that they loved you. <laughs> Check their eyesight first, perhaps. Is this someone I should know about? No, I mean, pretend you're a woman. I am a woman, Alistair. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard, but I'll give it a try. Ah, oh, that's no, that's not what I meant. Just. Pretend you're another woman. Someone told you that they loved you. How would you react? Well, that depends. Does this someone just blurt it out? Do I love them back? I need context. I, I don't know if you love him back. Maybe you do. You've spent a lot of time with this person. Perhaps you need to wait for the right moment. You could get her alone in camp. Give her a gift, perhaps. Oh, I, I wasn't talking about me. Just, um... Forget I said anything. <laughs> as you wish. Uh, yeah, as you get along in certain in, uh, the romances, when they hit certain points, you'll get little conversations like that. I always think I always blah, blah, I always thought Alistair's was just the cutest. That's why I can only do his. Sorry. <laughs> All right, the Legend of Calidad. All right, scroll down here for anyone who wants to read it. Because yeah, if I read all these things and. Yeah, this will be a much, much longer let's play. Alright. Okay. Hello, anybody back here? Absolutely nothing. So this is just like an inner room. Okay. With invisible stuff. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. So... Oh, hi! I think these are the people I gotta deal with, or somebody I have to deal with. Here, let's see. Let's save the gamey! Crimson Ores, Crimson Ores. Oh, a black sun wings on. Who are you? Pigs! All of them! Yeah, tell me about it. Of course. The notices of death. That restocking the guild. Oh yeah. Blackstone letter of condolences. My dear lady, it is with great regret that I must inform you of the death of your husband. He died as he lived with the greatest honor, completing a task of vital importance to the guild. Rest assured that we will take vengeance on those responsible for his death. Please accept my condolences for your loss. Rail nor Hawkwind, but screw you, I won't give you any gold or anything that'll help you out in your now new life. Alright. 
Aye. I'm a crimson ore. Which way you're looking or we'll rip your damned eyes out and piss in your skull. Another round for me, Ben. Oh, that's uh, awkward. Now we drink more. Next, drink to battle and victory. Next, drink to battle hmm. and victory. Interesting. Maybe I don't have the thing for them yet. Okay. That's fine. Because I thought you'd do something with those guys. But... Oh, well. All right, what's over here? We've got... Oh, all right, that's Jenna TV's house. Let's worry about doing that last, because... Oh, the wonders that's important. of Thetis. I haven't been here in ages. What? Oh, yeah, the magic place. Don't even... Yeah, the, um... Jenna TV's house is where we need to go for the Urn of Ashes. Urn of Sacred Ashes, but... I want to wait on that until we get more of this on here. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so. Are you a mage? Do you know a mage? Do you want to become a mage? Well, come here, damn it, because there's a bunch of magey things. Geography of Thetis. 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 Excuse me. There are some books up here. I am going to look at your books. Hmm. Jade, carved and polished into the shape of a large. Oh, I see. Well, that's just rude. It's in the shape of a penis. History of the Chantry, Chapter Four. That's what I always believed it to be. <laughs> it's in the shape of a wiener. I mean, because she's like, you know, she's old-fashioned and slightly, uh, I guess, prude would be like the word for it. Proper, whatever you want to call it. Good God, that scared the hell of me. What the hell was that sound? That was awkward. The Aonar. What that noise was? Did something fall over? And what's this scroll here? Wait. There we go. Kunari. Hey, look, Stan, it's about you. Anyone who travels far enough to the north will eventually encounter the Kunari. White haired, bronze skinned giants, a head again taller than a man with frighteningly calm demeanors and a sort of sparkling fire behind their eyes. For quite a long time, people believed that all Kunari were male, or that their men and women were simply indistinguishable. It was not until the Blessed Age that diplomats from Rivain were allowed, however briefly, to visit Par Volen, and there they discovered that Kunari females do exist in abundance, and are quite easily recognized. The Riviani say that Kunari have a certain kindness to them, or at least a conspicuous lack of cruelty, although I did not observe the creatures closely enough to evaluate their character. Hmm. I have to check this. I'm sorry. I'd have to check to see if I if that noise is there when I walk by because that scared the freaking hell out of me. Another book. It will be done. Dinner in. Remember, talk to everyone. Yes, make it quick. I have a note from your master. Strange. Let's see this. I knew it. I gave that man the best seven weeks of my life. Well, I guess he won't have me to push around anymore. <laughs> seven weeks of my life. They were the best around. No one's ever gone and they can Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, 
as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Sure. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. <coughs> All right, so I got to pretty much raise your herbalism and poison making. Alright, that sucks nuts. Tome of Arcane Technique. This is always good to get. I like to get these tomes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't have enough magic. Nature damage, you do not. Nature damage. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so here's where you can get the manual. If you are a mage yourself, you can get the manual for a spirit healer if you don't have win in your party. Electricity damage now. Ooh, I definitely want that too. So I'm going to pause the video here, guys, and I'm going to do my little money trick so I can get the Ring of Ages and this uh, Reaper's Vestment. So I will be right back. Okay, I may have went a little crazy, but that's fine. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Four win. I got her. Where is it? We got the Reaper's Vestments. Okay. So I got her that. Now I picked up uh, Apprentice's Amulet. Now let's see here. What are you wearing, Sten? Armor, nature resistance. Hmm. All right. I'm going to have you put that one. Because what do you have? Plus two on honor tributes. Fire resistance, spirit resistance. Fire is one of the main things that people always shoot around everywhere. And I bought a butt ton of runes. Um, when I go and I'm going to go and fiddle around with them when I go back to camp. And I did get for like her... I did pick up the other bomb recipes to have, and I did the same thing for Win. Shut up, Win. I did the same thing for having the restoratives and the enhancing stuff. Because I'm like, you know what, I'm right friggin' here. So, that was a good shopping day. I gotta double check or something. I did buy that thing back, right? Yes, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so when we get back, we still got more of a Denerim to walk around and check out. And uh, then once we walk around there, I'll see about the different side quests we have to see if we can do more. So, this is Angel Terry. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.